Hi traders, here are my main candidates for today. Uh, GME which is gapping down, STNE which is gapping down very strong, BABA the same and AMD which is gapping up today. All of them are very very interesting, would like to take always uh, big gaps and uh, STNE as you can see is down almost 4%. It's slightly moving higher right now, this is only the second one minute candle. Now I already learned where is the low, the low lies at 40.44 and I just posted it in the trading room. So I will take it once it moves under the lows. Uh, it's not my preferred choice of a setup, I have to say this because here we go now just moved under I'm short because it's just happening here on the second one minute candle it did come under the lows I usually rather take them on reversals not on breakdowns however this one has a relatively very small stop loss just over the highs and look at how it does the highs is 40 70 I was risking 30 cents and it just moved down by 20 cents approximately. I need another 10 cents. So somewhere at 40.10 will be my target. Here we go. At my target. Buyers still over. Buyers down to 14. Buyers down to 5. Okay. Now. Just reached my target. What a perfect trade. Now I'm taking my partial right over here took my partial right over here because I'm a very I'm very concerned that it's not going to come down easily under $40 so although it came down with a huge momentum and I love the way that it came down the same the way it came down um, I still prefer to have my partial because it's very very likely to pull back because of the whole number a lot of buyers at whole numbers always uh, play looks great the stock is up three and a half percent and if it's going to move over 50 to 50, I want to go long. Now, it's the same kind of trades you usually see me take. I'm getting ready to go long over 50. Here we go. Now, buyers just started buying over 50. I'm long, 4,000 shares. A relatively very small stop loss. 30 cents stop loss, just under 20, maybe even 25 cents. So my target should be at around 75, 80 something. And again, uh, that's a stock that started uh, up today with a very big gap up and then came down. You want to see, here we go. What a nice spike. Almost at my target, actually reached my target, but it's a bit spread now. I can't sell. Well, it looks like I may have to wait a bit longer, but it looks great. STNE. I'm about to add it just spiked up a bit and um, again it looks great look at the 40 numbers the 40 whole number the way it stopped there it really just stopped there and pulled back up so it remains the low of the day okay I'm getting ready to short it once more and again um, the stock is trending lower it's down 4%. I think this should be the right point somewhere around here. Okay, it's starting to get down. I'm short. Okay, it just started moving down. So moved into short. Uh, it's not likely to continue higher. This spikes in stock that uh, uh, is moving down that much are quite normal although it's moving up a bit more than I expected but this could easily happen but it's very very likely to come back down to the lows so I'm hoping to see a reversal right here and I think I have the same first sign look at this um, at this doji over here it looks like we just may come under right now so again um, the stock is trending lower I had my first great trade earlier and now I'm looking for another reversal, another leg down and looks like I'm getting it now. It's at my target again. Look at the 40 number, at the 40 hole number and under and under finally went through, finally went through. Okay, getting ready for my partial, watching the sellers here right now at 80. Now they pulled back up like three cents and I took my partial. So that's my second trade in STNE. What a lovely continuation. My second trade, the stock is trending lower, found two entry points. LYFT started with a huge gap uh, up today, not a huge, with a gap up. And people are following this one, 
was a re- recently an IPO. I'm getting ready to go long over seventy dollars. It's just about to go long over seventy. Watch the sellers at seventy. I'm buying now. Well, I thought it will go through. It did not, but it still looks fine. LYFT did great. Moved over 70. Look at the breakout over 70. And again, that's a stock that everybody is watching. A recent IPO, big company. And um, stock started with a gap up, closed the gap, which is great. I'm getting ready for my partial. Just try to sell the wrong number now. Okay, took my partial. Uh, the stock uh, again started with a big gap up, uh, came down, closed the gap, reversed where it should have reversed. A lot of people are watching it. Good trade. Roku is trending lower and I think it should continue trending lower. So I'm getting ready to short it under 69.50. I think that once it comes down under 69.50, it's very, very likely to continue now. Just did. I'm short. I'm very cautious with Roku. It's half size for me, just 2,000 shares. It's very, very spiky. GME is down almost 7% and I was looking for an entry point and I think I have it under 940 for short. It's getting close. Watch the buyers here at 941, sellers at 42. It's going to come down now. Okay, I'm short 4,000 shares. I, I'm not sure about, you know, certainly it's trending higher. It does not look great for short, but I have a great risk reward ratio. Stop over the highs. Uh, Roku is um, not looking good. I want to move out over 70. The technical stop point is a bit higher, but okay, I'm out now. Actually did not move over 70. Maybe that was a mistake. Well, I'm out of Roku. I have a loser in Roku. It's very volatile. Play is finally make it, making up its way again. I don't want to take any risk. It's back to my target price here. I missed the first one a little bit earlier. If it's going to bounce back a little, I'm going to take my partial and it does now. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I'm on the green side here. I don't trust it. It tried to move higher earlier. It looked fine, but then it bounced. I don't know what's coming next. I'm out. Jimmy is going the wrong way. I have a hard stop over 950. And if it's going to move over 950, watch the sellers at 950 here. I'm going to be out. Uh, GME. No. Okay, hard stop activated. Well, I was uh, originally risking 20 cents, but I thought that if it's going to change its direction here over 950, it's very, very likely to move over the high. So anticipate a move over the high. There's no reason to hold for another 10 cents. WDC. I was just asking the trading room whether I should take this one for the short side. And actually, why didn't I take the short? Uh, look at this beautiful head and shoulder formation here and the nice move underneath. So the answer is very, very simple. The stock is up 4%. You don't short a stock that is up 4%. I agree. This is a beautiful head and shoulder formation. But it's a head and shoulder formation in a stock that is up today by 4%. So do people like it or hate it today? That's the question you need to ask yourself always. And the answer is very, very clear. People love it today. And they look for a chance to go long. Whatever chance they find to go long, they will go long. So will I. Because the stock is up 4%. People love it. It's being traded with huge volume. So the only direction you need to take it is long, not short. Although it has this fantastic... Um, head and shoulder formation. Now, the thing is, if you will keep on trading stocks that have fantastic head and shoulder formations, but up 4%, expecting them to break down, your chance to succeed is maybe 30%. So the next 100 trades, yes, you'll have 30 trades that looks so good like this one. And yes, it did come down 40 cents. You could have had a fantastic trade right here, right now. But I promise you, you will be losing, you will be losing 40 out of, uh, sorry, 60 out of 100 trades or maybe even 70 out of 100 trades. So that's not a good idea to trade stocks like WDC for the short size when they're up 4%. So the only direction I'm interested in 
is going long. Earlier, I posted this uh, stock for long over 53, I believe it was uh, 5310. I'll take a look uh, in a few seconds there. And I decided not to go long. And the reason I decided not to go long is because of market direction. Because the market at that point started coming down. So right now, I'm getting ready for long over 52.50 because the market did come down, did take WDC with it. And now, if WDC is going to move over 52.50, once the market is pulling back up, and again, the market is only up 0.4%, but the WDC is up 4%, and that means that everybody is going to jump on this ship once it starts moving north over 52.50. And that's the point I would love to buy it again. And I also have great risk-reward ratio here, maybe 25 cents stop loss if it moves over 52.50. And here it comes about to move over 52.50 and I'm going to take it long real soon. Here we go, getting close. Now I'm long. I'm long just over 52.50 and now I have the support of the market. The market's coming up again. So always trade with market direction, always. WTC is uh, back to my target. Uh, it pulled back a little bit earlier, but now it's returning. I need to see it uh, at my target right now, actually. was looking for 25 cents. It's at 76 now. Same risk reward, taking my partial right now. Okay, good. Well, now that I have my partial in WDC, let's take a look at five minute candles and see the relationship with WDC and uh, the S&P 500. So here's the S&P 500 on the left side and here's WDC on the right side. Uh, what you need always to remember is that the S&P makes the first move. When the S&P is coming down, so will WDC. That's the first lesson we're learning in the Star Trader course. If you want to join us and learn the same lessons, just click here on the right-hand corner, join us for a free 14-day trial in our trading room, and we'll teach you all about this. So the first thing we learn is that institutional traders are buying and selling according to the S&P 500. So I was planning a long in WDC over 53.05, which looked great back then. But then I noticed that the S&P is coming down. And when the S&P is really coming down, that means most of the stocks will come down with the S&P 500. And that's because institutional traders are always watching the S&P 500 and they're always following it. And that means that when the S&P is coming down, WC, although it's up 4%, is not likely to continue. So at least you expect a pullback in WDC. Would it be right to go long WDC when the S&P is coming down? Absolutely not. Now, I did expect the, the S&P 500 to return sometime higher because it started with a gap down, a gap up. It only came down a little bit, tried to move in the direction of closing the gap, and then I was expecting it to pull back. So I was looking for a place where I could go long WDC. So I, I planned a trade over 52.05 and then I canceled it because I saw the S&P is moving down. And then came the last trade which was planned over 52.50 and that was with the S&P help. And again, the S&P made the first move up, which is always so. The S&P is really our crystal ball. That's how it works. And then institutional traders are starting to buy. WDC is likely to move higher. I take a trade and we've got a winner. Now here's how it looked like in the trading room because we always trade together. That's the first time I put up WDC as you can see here over 53.05 and then I cancelled it because I noticed that the S&P was moving down. So everything is happening in real time. I put up my picks, I cancelled them when necessary and then I put it up again and then we found the trade Eventually, we find the trade over 50 to 50. So we all trade together. And again, you can join us right here. And here's how my account looks like. I had a loser in uh, GME. Uh, lift was great. Play was great. Had a loser in Roku, although later it returned to the lows. And uh, good uh, two trades in STNE, WDC, of course, uh, a winner and up $3,100. And that all happened in less than one hour. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.